At a high school in PNG's Highlands, hundreds gathered, some in masks, some not, to see the country's Prime Minister. And from this waste and barren land, we have created this institution. After a recent surge in COVID-19 cases, PNG has introduced rules to restrict travel and large gatherings. But James Morape has defended his trip. I can't control people from walking into a crowd, uh, but I always encourage as part of my conversation, stay safe, stay away, uh, pick, pick, pick up a mask that is available. At the launch of the country's national vaccine rollout, Mr Morape urged people to continue following the coronavirus restrictions. The country's opposition leader has hit out at the Prime Minister, accusing him of hypocrisy for celebrating his birthday on an island resort with guests in excess of 100. It wasn't a party, it was a, just a family event. Family event. And some friends who wanted to join, join. It wasn't 100 people, it was less than 100 people. After a dramatic surge in cases in March and April, PNG has seen a recent fall in numbers. At Port Moresby General, staff have noticed a decrease in hospitalisations. But some provincial health authorities say their numbers aren't being properly recorded and believe hundreds have been missed from the national tally. We do accept that there might be some mismatch between both record and also the provinces. National health authorities have blamed slow and sometimes incomplete case reporting from the provinces but say new data systems are being introduced to improve accuracy across the board. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Port Moresby.